Hello, in this video I'm going to demonstrate ForcePoint's AP email, phishing detection and education, URL sandboxing, and URL analysis capabilities. With phishing detection and education, not only are we protecting your users, we're also educating them on phishing attacks. Most phishing attack emails contain some sort of malicious URL that a user is lured into clicking on. We take that URL and we wrap it, and when the user clicks on it, they are redirected to a phishing education block page. This block page contains many facts and details about phishing attacks and it makes them more cognizant of phishing attacks in the future. This has much greater strategic value to your organization than simply treating the email as a spam message, which is also an option, but the general recommendation here is to allow the user to see the phishing message and then educate them on that message. With URL sandboxing, any link that is uncategorized or perhaps malicious that is within an email will be wrapped and the user, upon receiving that email, can click on that link. They're redirected to our cloud where they can have real-time analysis performed against that URL. If the URL is safe, the appropriate category will be reported back to the user and they'll be permitted access. If the URL is bad or malicious, they'll be denied access. And with URL analysis, this is sort of our built-in master database of URLs. This does require our AP web product, which highlights the integrated aspect of our technology. Um, our email product will reference the master database that is embedded in our web product. And any known URLs that are contained within that database um, will be categorized appropriately. And depending on what the URL is in the email, the email will either be permitted or or treated as spam depending on your policy. So a URL that is malicious or is adult content in nature, your policy could state to quarantine those email messages if those URLs are found in the emails. So that's a quick overview of the subjects I'll be covering today. I'm going to go ahead and start over in my, my Gmail account. And I'm going to start with a basic, actually I'm going to go ahead and do a phishing detection example here. So I'm sending an email to my CEO account. It's a Wells Fargo security alert. The content is very similar to what most users might, might, might receive from their bank account. It contains a link that will redirect them to a malicious site. I'm going to go ahead and send that email. and now I'm going to pop over to my lab environment and we see that the email was received. I'm going to go ahead and download the pictures here. So the email has been received. The content is still there. If I hover over the URL you're going to notice that it now has our wrapper um, which is different than what the original uh, link was. So as a user if I go ahead and click on this link I am redirected to a phishing attack block page and as I mentioned earlier this is going to educate the user on what a phishing attack is, what are some of the tactics, what are some of the warning signs that is indicative of a phishing attack. And again, this has much greater strategic value to your organization um, in the long term. Within the reporting section, which I won't get into of our email product, um, there will be a report indicating a user was um, a recipient of a phishing email, and it's also going to show you what action that user took. Did they click on the link or did they not click on that link? Another example here is um, this, this an example HR email to the CEO of the company saying here's a link to company benefits. Click on this link and you'll be able to access those benefits. This particular link is uncategorized so when the CEO receives it, it's going to be wrapped and the CEO will have the ability to have the, the URL and analyze in real time. Go ahead and click on the link. We redirect it to our cloud for real time analysis. I'm going to go ahead and click on analyze. The site has come back as good clean site, no malicious threats, and it's been categorized as business economy and then I can go ahead and continue on to that site. Another example here is sort of like a phishing email, but this is more of 
um, another way to lure a user into clicking on a malicious link. So this email is advertising free tickets. This link contains a redirect to a malicious site. And we're going to go ahead and see what happens here. So the same thing should occur here. Um, the email will be received. It's going to be wrapped because it's either an uncategorized or a suspicious link. And the user is going to be redirected to the cloud. As you can see, it's wrapped to our cloud. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. I'm going to authorize analysis. And the feedback is that it contains some malicious threats and access has been denied. And this is, again, the URL sandboxing feature. Lastly, this is going to highlight and demonstrate the built-in URL analysis that does require the integration with the web product. This is bouncing the URL off of our master database of known good and bad URLs and then performing the appropriate action. So this looks like it's the user is trying to lure this person into clicking on a link that will deliver them to a picture which happens to be a malicious file. Go ahead and click send. What's, what's going to happen here is that the user is not going to receive that email as it's going to be quarantined by our email gateway. So I'm in the AP email dashboard. I'll go into logs and simply wait for the email to arrive and then we can see what the disposition of the email was. I'm going to go ahead and pause until I see that email come in. All right, so the email has arrived. Um, it's arrived at our email gateway. Our email gateway has performed analysis and identified that the link was pointing to a malicious site or um, some sort of virus application and it was dropped. As you can see, the previous emails that I sent out this morning in this video, starting from the bottom, um, the analysis was phishing, which is correct. The other two were clean. However, it did contain URLs that were wrapped and prompted the user to perform the real-time analysis. And then the appropriate action was taken, whether permitting or denying access to that site. So that is a quick demonstration of our phishing detection and education, URL sandboxing, and URL analysis capabilities. I should mention that all of the driving defensive and offensive capabilities when it comes to detecting the threats and the various characteristics of malicious sites or even these phishing emails is derived from our advanced classification engine or ACE. For more details on ACE, as well as the topics covered today, please click on the links that are contained in the description of this video. Thank you.